Hello everyone, welcome to Rob's Rogues and the BatmanUniverse.net and today we're taking a look at something very, very cool that I think a lot of us didn't think this was, go was going to come out for a while yet. I think it originally had a, a straight release date of like uh, mid-January, but the powers that be decided to release uh, the DC Comics Multiverse uh, at Mattel, decided to get this out just after Christmas. So this makes me think this actually probably could have been out around Christmas time, but nonetheless, today we're taking a look at the DC Comics Multiverse. For this review, we are taking a look at Batman from the movie Coming out in March of 2016, can you believe it? We're looking at the Mattel Batman figure, or Batfleck, uh, as you, uh, if you will. Uh, as you can see here, I also picked up Wonder Woman, and Superman here is for my good buddy Stu Murray 47. I saw uh, the armored Batman. I really wanted to get in, but I, uh, I decided I was going to wait just a little bit and pick uh, the armored Batman up a little bit. I also got a couple other things for uh, Stu as well. So I will not be reviewing the Superman figure. I'm actually going to be sending that one to him. And eventually I'll put a link down below uh, when he gets the package and when he reviews it. But probably by the time that he reviews it, I will probably have bought one myself already. Uh, these come with a Collected Connect piece that is the Grapnel Blaster replica that Batman uses. So I'm going to take Wonder Woman and Superman out of the way here, as this is Batman's review, and uh, we will get to Wonder Woman's in the next review. Uh, but... Um, uh, yeah, I, I was really happy to see uh, this entire wave out. Uh, this is the first wave. The other figures that are in the wave, we'll take a look at the back here. Here's the top part um, of the box is DC Comics uh, Multiverse. DC Comics Multiverse figures are inspired by DC Comics-based characters uh, rich in entertainment sources, such as movies and video games. These figures are meticulously designed to be truly authentic, and we'll kind of get into that just a little bit, uh, celebrating the many universes of the entertainment, entertaining DC Comics material. So people that are wondering, like, oh, did the Movie Masters line, uh, they get rid of that? Eh, technically they did, but technically it's still around. These figures, I believe, are still in the Movie Masters series. So if you have your Christian Bale, Dark Knight Rises Batman, and the Man of Steel figures, they will all work with this. Uh, the Grapnel Blaster is the Collected Connect, which is odd that they decided to do um, a Batman gadget as opposed to um, Doomsday or perhaps something else else that could be in the movie we don't entirely know uh, there are eight figures that will make up this wave four of which are shown at the bottom here but you can see all the different pieces i believe batman's is going to be the base portion of it and wonder woman i think is going to be this piece right here which it's kind of showing uh, down below the figures that are in this wave and i saw all of them at my local toys r us here in ohio uh, of course, we have Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Armored Batman. It says, uh, I'll get back here a little bit, figures five, and, uh, five through eight coming soon. We know Lex Luthor is going to be one of the figures, and we also know that Nightmare Batman is also going to be one. So that still leaves two figures that they haven't announced yet, and it's probably going to be kind of like The Dark Knight Rises, that they're going to wait till it's much closer to the release of the uh, movie before it comes out so i'm very happy to get this uh, here is the side part of the box here and i love this art that they have been using for uh probably you're going to probably see this art all over the place this particular likeness of uh, batman from the movie uh the write-up this is the same on all of the figures here it's basically just a general part of the story it says uh, fearing the actions of a godlike superhero left unchecked, Gotham's, Gotham City's formidable force, Vigilante, takes on Metropolis's most revered, modern day savior, uh, revered modern day savior, pardon me, uh, while the world wrestles with what sort of hero it really needs. And with Batman and Superman at war uh, with, with one another, a new threat, a new threat, a new threat quickly arises, putting mankind in greater danger than it has ever known before. So I believe that's the standard right up the DC Comics and uh, Zack Snyder and all the boys, oh, boys and girls over at BVS. Um, 
released a while back. So this is going to be really cool. Um, we will get into the figure, what I think about the figure. Uh, we first saw the first initial release of Batman and Superman at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, they had cloth capes. Both Superman and Batman in this line have the plastic capes. So enough talking, enough rambling. Let's get Batfleck out of his box and we will get a closer look at the DC Comics multiverse Batman versus Superman Batman figure. We will be right back. All right, here's the interior part of the box. I didn't talk about the out, outer side of the box. It's all brand new packaging for uh, Mattel, and I keep wanting to say DC collectibles. Hopefully I didn't say that in the first part of the review. Uh, this is the interior. I don't think this is gonna be anything in the movie. I think this is their multiverse where you can see all of the, you know, triangles and zigzags going through all the places. And I'm guessing those are the different Earths or universes. That's my take on it. So I just kind of wanted to show you that. Uh, there, of course, is Batman out of packaging. I do want to show you the accessory or the Collect and Connect piece that he comes with. It is the base of the grapnel gun, which it's probably going to be a slow build. Probably much like the Bat Signal, I hope. The case quantities aren't all screwy and there's not a chase figure. I know, Mattel, I know they're going to do it. Um, I'm already resigning to the fact that I'm going to pick up all of the figures to complete the grapnel gun. Because let's say if I pick up just the main three, I'm going to have three pieces of Eclectic Connect that, or even four with the Armored Batman, then I'll have four of the eight, so I might as well. But that's that. Um, it's hard to know if there's if this is going to resemble anything as far as the base goes, but I'm probably spending a little too much time on this base, but that is that. In the Wonder Woman review, I think I'll be able to put a piece of it together. So, the thing we've been kind of waiting for is Batman. Let's get him up close and personal. And here we go. So, the pittedness or the pittiness of the cowl uh, is a little odd and a little striking. Um, I get what they were trying to do is go for the leathery look and the uh, texture in the Batman cowl that they have done here. It's probably a bit much, and it could have been just black. Now, I'm zoomed in really close. It's not It's not as bad when you're not on top of the figure. I don't know how many of us you know, look at our action figures like, you know, this close. But from a normal distance, you could just catch some of the texturing that's on there. So I'm not trying to make a pass at it. Well, it's not so bad. It, it's really not that bad, but the closer you get to it, it, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but the longer I've had him out of package, the more I'm, I'm kind of digging it. Um, a straight up just black would have, would have probably sufficed. Um, but it, they were trying uh, the bat logo is nice and clean. I like that. Um, I've heard people call this duct tape Batman. You could kind of see, you know, the texturing that they were trying to uh, create here. Looks like it, there's duct tape that's been uh, put around on the figure. As I'm uh, hearing my iPad going off so, like crazy. So you know, I. I, I get what they what what they're trying to do. Is it executed a hundred percent? Like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yeah, it falls a little short, but I still do really like it. And I think that this being the first figure that has come out for the movie, I think I'm just chomping at the bit just for that. Uh, the cape. Uh, that I don't know if I've heard too many people talk about. I think his cape does not have the traditional scallops like we think. I think his cape has been torn and worn, and maybe at some point he'll decide to actually put the Batman scallops there. Maybe that's a way of getting around and saying, well, I don't know if he would actually cut the scallops in there, but you can make the argument, well, he cut the scallops in for uh, the blades on his gauntlets. He's got knuckle dusters, and they're painted gold, which that's a, a little different take on it. Uh, the gold is down on the boot as well. That's a little different. Never seen that in a Batman costume before. Uh, the belt here appears to be black with gold parts. I think this is probably 
a shading technique that they tried to do. I believe the gold, the gold, the belt is actually gold in the movie, but it's dirty and it's worn. So it's showing some wear and tear. You can kind of see some of the gold in there. I don't believe it's a black belt with gold um, clasps and pouches on it. I believe it's all supposed to be gold, but it's just very worn. I love the texturing that's on the bat emblem here. I think that's done really well. And it is uh, pretty much on par with uh, the texturing of the Batman costume. The cowl is what it is. He is bat fleckish. He is Ben Affleckish. There's the chin. Uh, it's not a hundred percent um, likeness, but you can you can get what they were going for. There's the eyes. He doesn't appear to have cross-eyed, or he's not cross-eyed. Cow. I mean, I I like the figure. I do. Am I going to go on record and say this is the best Batman figure ever? No, but does it make me excited for the movie? Yes. Is he going to be prominently on my shelf for quite a while? Maybe until a better BVS Batman figure comes out? Probably. But uh, I'm looking forward to getting him, uh, posing him with my other Movie Masters figures and seeing how they wor how he works. And we're going to get into that. The part that kind of bothers me, and Mattel was kind of notorious for doing this uh, back in the DCUC line. Uh, the joint here for the elbow... You can see where the glove is supposed to come across. I I get part of the issue. It's like we either paint this disc uh, gray, which matches the cast for the elbow, or they painstakingly have to paint each of these lines in here, or you make this part black and then paint the arm black, because this whole piece right here is one and the arm is put on. So it looks a little off seeing this little disc showing there, but I understand why they're doing it. Um, it is what it is, you know, you get the arm up like that, you know, you don't notice it. Straight up and down, I mean, it is what it is. But other than a few little nitpicks with the texture on the cowl, um, probably shouldn't have been there, I get what they were doing. Uh, it is also continued down on the boots. Again, we're zoomed in really close, so it's really bringing out the flaws in it. But in the same token, I do like it. I, I really do. I'm probably going to be one of the few that uh, that does like this figure. Actually, I, I think there's going to be some people that are going to enjoy having this. And I think the big thing for me is I'm going to enjoy having this that's going to remind me the movie is going to be out in three months. I can't wait. So let's get into the articulation. The head does look left to right. Can look up slightly um, and down, not so much. His uh, jaw and neck are getting in the way. Arms go up uh, past 90 degrees, which is uh, really nice. Bicep swivel, and this is pretty much DC Universe classic articulation, which was, at least in Batman, some of the movie masters did not have all these. Single jointed elbow, which some of the DC Universe classics figures did have double joints, uh, has an ab crunch, not too bad, uh, it's not really the best forward, uh, he can arch his back more than he can bend forward, there's a waist swivel, the classic, DC Universe classic T-jointed legs, which the legs go almost past 90 degrees, can go forward about that far, back, decent enough swivel at the above the knee double jointed or double jointed excuse me single jointed knee i can hear people going shoot hood double joints not every dc universe classics figure did have double stuff it just varied but i could see that no boot swivel he does have an ankle hinge and no rocker that is it for the articulation i'm kind of surprised he did not come with um, a batarang, or this is where some of the people like, see, Mattel couldn't even put any batarangs in there. I, I am disappointed there's not at least a batarang. A couple batarangs would have been pretty cool, considering that Wonder Woman comes with two accessories of her own. Um, the armored Batman does come with his sonic cannon. So, um, and the nice thing about this, no loose anything syndrome. He's a nice, tight, 
stiff. That's what she said. Action figure. Uh, the only other gripe that I have is in the cape is this product numbering that they put in here. Why not have put it in the back? Why on the cape? Um, a little black magic marker could cover that up and be fine. But shouldn't be there. Um, uh, yeah, I don't get that. But uh, all in all, I do like the figure, and I like the figure uh, because it gets me excited for the movie, and uh, I just I, I I can't I can't wait. I'm I'm beyond excited. As excited as I was for Star Wars, Batman versus Superman has me even more excited. Uh, so let's bring up the Man of Steel action figure from the Man of Steel movie. If I wanted it, you'd be dead already even though Batman's in his wrong outfit. Uh, so here is Batman with the Movie Masters Man of Steel Superman. Now, uh, somebody's going to say, well, gee, Batman's taller than Superman. Mattel couldn't get that right. Uh, I don't know 100% if Mattel has increased the size of the Movie Masters or the multiverse figures, or if they're the same, and if they're the same, I think we know Ben Affleck is a little bit taller than Henry Cavill, so the size might actually be correct. And <gasps> scale? Did they get scale right? So it, it'll be interesting to see. Like I said, the Superman that I have here is Mr. Stu Murray 47's Superman. So it's hard to tell, you know, in package if I get him lined up just right. I think they're the same figure. It's really hard to tell here. Um, he could be a little bit taller. Um, it's 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 hard to tell. I mean, I don't know. You tell me. They might be taller. They might be a little bit taller. I think everybody else for the Movie Master size does appear a little bit bigger. Um, so let's do it this way so we can kind of see. Uh, Batman is... Close to a forehead taller than Superman from, you know, the Man of Steel Movie Masters series. Um, I'll bring up a couple others here. I have uh, Alfred here from The Dark Knight Rises. And Alfred is shorter than Batman. I think everybody else from the Movie Masters line is roughly the same height. I think they're all, you know, the same body. So here is Commissioner Gordon. So I, I think they're taller. I really do think that, you know, they recreated the sculptor, you know, blew up the size of us just a little bit for this Movie Masters line, which I should say the multi-universe line, multiverse, geez, I can't talk. So some people may be going, there's that part, it's like, well, great, they're, they're going to be out of scale. Nah, negligible, you know. If Batman is indeed taller than everyone else, then, you know, I I will have Wonder Woman here in a little bit to open her up. And we'll kind of get to see um, how she looks. And maybe with the help of editing here, I'll start her review, get her out of package, and then slip her into this review. And then when you watch Wonder Woman's review, it'll be like, hey, she's back in the package again. So anyway, uh, let me bring up um, another figure for you to take a yeah, look at. Yeah, this pretty much uh, cements it for me. Here is Batman versus Superman versus The Dark Knight Rises Movie Masters Batman, uh, Christian Bale. Uh, definitely almost a head taller than the uh, Dark Knight Rises Batman. And uh, the Movie Masters Superman uh, could look pretty close eye to eye with the Dark Knight Rises Batman. So Superman was a little bit taller than Batman, and I was kind of going, oh, okay, I could see that. Uh, but Batman is clearly taller than both of these together. So this has me wondering, is the Batman versus Superman in DC Universe Classics size? Uh, let's go grab a Batman from my DC Universe Classics collection, and we will see what this uh, true size is. Okay, here he is with the, uh, this is technically the legacy, but it's actually more the DC superheroes body buck for Batman. I did the head swap with the legacy Batman. So uh, the Batman versus Superman Batman from the multiverse 
is a, the same height as the DC Universe Classics, uh, DC Superheroes rather, uh, Batman. Now that is tip of the ears to tip of the ears. So the head on Batman is down a little bit lower. I think you can kind of see here. Let's uh, go up a little bit more so we can get in a little close up personal. So you can see what I'm talking about here. Uh, the head overall is a little bit bigger. Let's do a side by side here. So um, that, the Batman vs Superman figure is actually a little bit taller. Now the DC um, superheroes line was a little bit shorter in their kind of stance. So it wasn't until the DC Universe Classics line that um, the figures grew a little bit. So let's put in um, a a proper Batman for the DC Universe Classics line uh, to kind of see for sure. So we have the standard blue and gray Batman here and they are more it's a, still uh, the Batman versus Superman Batman uh, this is a, a total new scale for um, Mattel which I know some people are like oh I mean it's negligible with your DC Universe Classics figures so I know people before were upset with the Movie Masters that they were too short. So if we bring in the Movie Masters Man of Steel, uh, he is clearly too small for um, Bat this Batman. And even the Christian Bale Dark Knight Rises is too small. That's like Tim Drake or Damien wearing a costume here. Um, I'm doing all kinds of size comparisons here. So, so people remember the DC Superheroes line was a little bit shorter. And then if we do a quick swap out, the sorry this review is going to be a little bit longer here. Uh, here is one of the last Batman, the new 52 Batman. Batman, kind of the all-star line. So just overall, Batman is a bigger figure. So this is a bigger line, which some of us were kind of complaining. Uh, like this guy back here about DC collectibles changing their size from their icon to from their new 52 or their standard line. Speaking of new 52, let's take a look at the new 52 DC collectibles Batman. So you can see the size here. So up to every figure that I've done so far, Batman versus Superman figures have been a shade taller than the previous releases from Mattel. Uh, this Batman would actually work actually pretty good on your Mattel shelf if you have one with the different Batmans from different eras, different multiverse, you know. Let's kind of get them set up here. If you're doing something like that, uh, the size is not actually too bad. Um, he fits in rather well, and it's not glaringly like, wow, he is way too tall. He is way you know, whatever. In your Mattel shelf, you could actually put these figures in with them like you wanted to do with the Movie Masters uh, originally, and they will fit a lot better in with your Mattel figures. And here we have him with the Dark Knight Returns, Mattel, uh, basically the uh, Masters of the Universe body buck here, uh, Batman. So this is the one Batman uh, in the Mattel line that is actually taller than the Batman vs. Superman Batman. Now, it's not by much that the Batman vs. Superman is taller than the other ones. The Movie Masters line, yeah, he's in more with the DC Universe Classics line, which I think will make some people happy. But on the other hand, if you were really wanting to go, well, I have all these Movie Masters figures, he's a little bit taller, but I don't think as noticeable. And lastly, here are one of the last few comparisons in size. You can kind of see going from the Movie Masters, DC Superheroes, DC Universe Classics, uh, All-Stars, uh, then Batman vs. Superman, and then basically using the Masters of the Universe body here, the Dark Knight Returns Batman. They look cool. I'm close to the Trinity. Um... I have just unboxed Wonder Woman for her review, so I haven't got my thoughts out for Wonder Woman yet. So you have to watch the Wonder Woman review to know what I think of her. And at this time I'm filming it, I don't know what I think of her yet, and that's neither good nor bad. Um, because the Superman that I have is Mr. Stu Murray's, which, I mean, yeah, they do look really cool together. I will bring in my 
Movie Masters Man of Steel Superman as the placeholder so we can get a proper look at the Trinity here, as it were. Um, Superman is the smallest, <laughs> which should not be his knees bent here, but uh, does, does work as a placeholder, uh, like you've uh, watched already in this review. Um, the Movie Masters line is a little bit smaller than this new Multiverse line. So, like it or love it, um, I'm actually kind of liking the bigger size of figures. I think it'll they'll fit in a little bit better. But it does make my Movie Masters figures look a little smaller. But that's a completely different universe. So, I don't mind it as much. Now, one could argue that Zod and Superman and Fiora and all of those from the Man of Steel line should be the same size. I mean, here is Zod here, which I think we've already kind of seen. So is not, you know, he's not bad. Zod is, is closer to Superman's size. The camera's probably not doing it justice here, but for uh, my naked eye, uh, he's actually a little bit closer to uh, Batman's size than Superman is to Batman's size. So I just wanted to be able to show you that. And here he is with my Movie Masters uh, figures that I have. It's not horrible. He is the biggest in the line, as you can kind of tell here. Uh, Catwoman's not too bad. Superman's kind of in the back there. Uh, but I think he's going to be able to blend in uh, nicely here. So if you want to put him on your Movie master shelf, I don't think it's going to be that horrible. But certain figures that you might want Batman to look in the eye, he may not be able to do so but but still final thoughts here on this long review and if you stayed all the way to the end i thank you very much i like it i like the figure i'm glad to have it i'm glad i bought him um it's gonna be fun to kind of display him with the batman versus superman figures and i'm able to work him into the movie masters line of figures and work him into the dc universe classics line uh, he's kind of bridging the gap between the two. He is taller than the Movie Masters figures. Uh, for the Superman figure, just by a little bit, but some of the other ones, especially the Dark Knight Rises Batman, uh, he is a clear head and shoulders taller than that figure. So I think it's Mattel swinging for the fences here. I'm not saying it's like bad job Mattel, as Chapman Films would say. I think... A decent swing. I don't know if they hit a triple, but they got a solid double and almost made a triple. Um, I like it. Um, and it's getting me excited for the movie, which is uh, what I think this line is supposed to do. And I'm going to prominently pose this figure with my other Batman figures, but for the time being, he's going to be on the Batman versus Superman shelf. So um, I dig the figure. I think it's cool um, that he's starting to hit Toys R Us. And I saw people recently, just today, start posting pictures of the Walmart displays showing up. So these figures are going to be everywhere. This is the early stages of people starting to find them. I'm in Ohio, if anybody's wondering. So they've made it to the East Coast or close to the East Coast. So they've kind of worked their way through. So if they're in Ohio, chances are you could probably start going to Toys R Us's pretty much wherever you are and start finding them. Uh, they are Some Toys R Us's are getting the other uh, multi-universe figures with the uh, Arrow and uh, Zero Year Batman and uh, the Flash figures, and the Justice League, the Justice Buster uh, Collect to Connect Batman figure. So I'm happy with it. I've been rambling a lot through this video, but I think people have been wanting to see sizes and see how they're going to compare. So um, that's why this video is as long as it is. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogues and the BatmanUniverse.net signing off saying we will see you guys next time.